Welcome to 24 Willie Mays Plaza, the home of the Giants and Oracle Park. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the San Francisco Giants. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. About to get started here. Today's starting pitcher, Logan Webb. Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. All right, ready to go here. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. And he deals. And that is cut on and missed. Going one. Oh and one. High fly ball down the left field line. Slater in pursuit. And he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. And here now the lineup for the Royals. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. One out, base is empty. Fouled off left side. The wind of the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. That one hops against the fence. Whip around second. And he's there at third with a triple. He threw out that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Swing a high fly ball deep left field. Slater going back. Caught just shy of the wall. Run scores easily, and it's 1 0. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Vinny Pasquantino. High fly ball out at a left center field. Luciano sizing this one up, and that'll do it. But they push across one run on one base hit, no errors, and nobody left on. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Royals one, and the Giants coming up. Back here at Oracle Park, showing the slab in today's game, Cole Reagans. Chris, how about a scouting report? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. Yeah, he's yeah, right. Yeah, he's yeah. really able to keep hitters yeah, guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same yeah, time. Yeah. And that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And fouled off. turns and heads for second. Here comes the throw. Slides in safely. It's a leadoff double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Tyro 
Estrada to the plate. That's a base hit. Roy comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. Well, that's that a smart hard. decision to hold up <laughs> with one out and the heart of the order coming up. Don't want to run into an out at home plate. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Swing and a drive, deep right field. To the warning track, makes the catch. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 1-1. Sometimes all you want to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Right, Jorge right. Soler up at the plate. Oh, oh. Field deep here, trying to prevent oh. anything over their heads. And he grounds one back up the middle and a base hit right there. And the go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Waste no time there. Really nice good. job staying up the middle of his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Two on, one out. Here's the third baseman, J.D. Davis. Bounce to the left side. And it's just foul. That was close. Tied up here in the early going. Fly ball down the line. Two away. That is good. Here's the Giants lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around uh, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two on, two outs. That one lifted to left. One runs in, and the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. What a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Austin Slater stands in. Right through there for a strike. Oh, one's the count. In the air, center field, Isbell gets there, he's under it, and that should be extra bases. The run comes in from second, it's 4-1. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Oh, that's a big at-bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. And digging in for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. A switch hitter batting right. And there's the strike. Well, they've been able to score four oh, runs one. off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Bounce to third, and that chance handled. Sends it to first, and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. They get four runs on five hits, no errors, and leave one. We head to the second from San Francisco. It's the Giants four and the Royals one. Top of the second, now it's Hunter Renfro. 
the right. The Royals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Why the kick the pitch? Hey. It started a little too early. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. The pitch. And a foul ball. The 0-2. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. And it's fouled away. The Royals trailing by three here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss. Oh, this is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Lifted in the air right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. That is that, that. The designated hitter. Nelson, Nelson Velasquez, Velasquez steps in for the Royals. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Late with the swing there. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters gotta get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Now fly ball to right center. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now it's Kyle Isbell. This to center field. Yastrzemski drifts towards it. Makes the grab and that's the inning. So one left for Kansas City and they trail it 4-1. Back here with my Leave pal Siggy. Bottom of the down. inning and digging North in for San Francisco. Down. Marco North Luciano. Luciano. Reagan's back to work. Bounced out to short. Win. That's one out the bottom of the second. The back. The first base. base. Wilbur. Flores. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Double leading off the ball game. Then came around to score the first run of the game. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Filling oh, up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real one. That one ripped right center field. Gone. And they add on. It's 5-1. Two pitches, two swings. That one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way and it paid off for him in a big way.
that's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and you know there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here now here is Tyro Estrada back to the mound tosses to first and Estrada is out now back the center fielder Mike two outs base is empty and up next for San Francisco Mike Yastrzemski drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up this one high in the air to left center he's got it and that'll end the inning but the solo shot stretches their lead even further it's now a 5-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here in San Francisco, on to the third the inning, third and to the plate for Kansas Michael City, Al number 11. Garcia. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Foul ball. Well, these Royals, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, Booth. The 0-2. The punch out there, and there's one down. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. MJ Melendez, the next to hit. Fly to left his first time. Fought off foul. That one drilled left field. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Misses the ball, and it falls in. Around third, and he's got himself a triple. Next is the Royals catcher, Salvador Perez. Hey. A big swing and a miss. All ones the count. This one popped up. Estrada settles under this one. Hits it away for the out. Tag. Not in time. He's safe. It's 5-3. So they're down to their final out. Vinny Pasquantino digs in now. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. They're down to their final strike. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Webb is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. 
They were ready early on. Just a three-inning game, but we saw a lot of action. That was as much a slugfest as you could hope for in this type of contest. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Kansas.